Hello everybody. So finally making the second video. Very sorry, by the way. Uh, I got <laughs> overwhelmed with work and client stores and my own store. So from now on, I really want to make one video, at least one video a week, maybe two. So today we're going to talk about product research for 2019. Uh, for those who know me, you know that I don't do things like most people, you know, like most people. So this is going to be like my method that I use. Uh, it takes a lot of time, but it's very efficient. And if you follow all my step, every, uh, each of the steps I'm going to teach you now, you'll be able to find winning products in no time. All right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some effort. Obviously, it's not going to be easy, but it's very effective. I test only one product a week maximum. And, you know, out of five products, I usually find a winner uh, because I spend a lot of time on it. So let's start. So here's the summary. So we're going to talk about the method one, which is product research on Etsy. Then we're going to talk about method two, which is product research on Amazon. And then the product three, the method three, sorry, which is competitor, competitors research. And I also have like an email template for you, the supplier email template. It's already in the group, but I figure I'm just going to give it here as well. It's going to be easier for you guys. So yeah, let's get started. So the method one. So we're going to do slide by slide. And now I'm going to do... I'm going to explain other product research on Etsy, and then we're going to jump into my computer and you're going to see exactly what I do it live, uh, how I do it live. Sorry. Uh, it's going to be much easier for you to understand. So I look for products with many recent reviews. All right. Because if you have a lot of recent reviews on a, on a, on a product, it means the product is, is in high demand because most people that buy, they don't leave reviews. So if you have reviews every day, it really means the product is, there's a lot of people buying, uh, established suppliers. You have to really, uh, make sure that you look for established suppliers that's a big problem because it happened to me uh i was looking for a supplier and then and then you know we started working together started making sales and then he just vanished from the surface of the, of the earth just because you know it was like bank went bankrupt or something uh so this is yeah you have to be really careful about this i'm going to show you how uh and yeah make sure everybody is already is not is not already selling the same product because that's a big deal, all right? If everybody's saying the same thing, it's gonna be saturated. That's the good thing with Etsy, is like you have less chance of, of you know products being saturated, but it still happens, so you have to make sure of this. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go directly, let's check on Etsy, all right? So you simply go on Etsy. I'm gonna show you uh, for the cat niche, all right? This is, I don't, this is not my, uh, my niche, but this is the same exact method I use. So let's say I'm going to put cat. All right. All right. So now you can see those are ads. All right. So usually you can see those two says best, best seller, best seller. Uh, you can see the number of reviews here, right? So this is a wish bracelet, very cheap. So you don't want to sell this. Uh, it's not, you're not going to have a good margin out of it. Uh, but you can see a lot of different products. For example, uh, let's take this one. So this is actually pretty funny. I don't know why people buy this, but anyway, actually, apparently they do. You know, you see 2,000 reviews. That's for the store. So that's not just for the product, but that's for the entire store. Uh, but still very good. So let's say in 17.99, you can you know sell them a bit expensive, uh, more expensive. You can ask for a discount. It's gonna be a good um, could be a good product. So let's see. So here's what I look when I look for a product. All right, I go, I come here, and I see here bestseller. All right, doesn't matter, doesn't mean anything. I'm going to go straight in the reviews. All right. So I can see here, uh, 25 February, 23, February, 23, February, 22, February, 21. You can see more February, 19, February, 18. That's very good. Every day, almost every day there is a review apart from, you know, the end of February, but still, this is great. It shows us, it doesn't mean it's, it's a winner for sure, but that's, if it's your niche, that's a product you should test. All right. Because there is a lot of engagement for this. Uh, people are leaving reviews. So again, means like a lot of people are, are buying. Uh, so that's that's a great way. That's a great way to find products. And that's one of the methods I use. All right. So another thing you can do, uh, again, to check if the supplier is, you know, legit. You go, you click right away. Here, you click right here. And you can see now so you can see they have fifteen thousand sales of them so you know for sure that they know what they're talking about right they, they they've been there they've been selling for a while 
they are a big company. So you can see here as well, they have like this total review. You can click on it. You can see like all the products they buy and you can see always like uh, customized dog socks. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of cool stuff, animal socks and, and, and everything. So you see people are happy. Uh, this came so fast and awesome. So you want to check out the reviews from the customers. You can see what they're saying because they can't, you know, with the pictures like this, it's not, they're not cheating. That's, that's a true, true, true customer review. So if, you know, like most customers, you're always going to have unhappy people because people are just people and they're going to complain about everything. So, but if most of the people say it's good, you can actually trust the, the, the supplier. So then simple, you just go on the product page where you go um, here or here. So you say pet party, contact them. All right. So I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to use my own profile, but you contact, you just login you you uh, and then you send them a message there is the supplier template that i'm going to show you now uh it's also uh coming in the um, it's also sorry it's also in the in the group so you can find the group uh you can use the search tab you'll find it but yeah so maybe i can give you another example i mean not more details maybe for you to understand yeah, and that's actually a good, uh, when you read those, you want to read those reviews, you know, well, maybe not a thousand of them, but a lot of them, because you're going to know what people feel about the product, what really interested them about the product, and then you can write your product descriptions according to it. That's very, very important, right? Uh, I know this is a different subject, but that's how I do it as well. I leave, I read a lot of reviews. So that's how I look for products on Etsy. Uh, for every niche, it's the same. Uh, you're going to put like, I don't know, like, let's say, yoga all right uh and now you can see um different products so this is print on demand but you can see this one lotus something it's a bit cheap but let's say let's see yeah again like you can see uh, no it's not no this one it does not allow you doesn't mean it's not going to sell but that's not how i actually you know look for products i really look for products with a lot of reviews so I, I know this one because I've checked this one before. Uh, this one, 20 February, 20 February, 4 February, 4 February. This is pretty good as well, you know, pretty consistent. Not the best, but pretty consistent. So that's how I look for it. And the more reviews, the more recent reviews, the more um, the product, you know, it's going to interest the, the audience. And sometimes there's a lot of reviews and every day and still it's not going to sell on Facebook. It happens. But most of the time, it's a good sign. And you're always going to sell a few. It doesn't mean it's going to be a total winner, but it's a good, it's a very good sign. Uh, all right. So that's, that's it. With, okay. So we can move. So that's, that's the whole, I'm going to elaborate. I'm going to make other videos with a subject that's going to be more talk about other method. But for Etsy, that's what you should start with. That's very efficient. All right. So now uh, we're going to go back to the slides. So I'm just going to jump to this slide here. So that's a supplier email template. All right. So hi, hi, the first name, my name is, and I'm the CEO and founder of an, uh, an online store name, your store name. Uh, we, we've came across your products on Amazon, name of products, and we'd love to sell them on our store. Would that interest you? If that's the case. Would you be able to offer us a discount price? Can this regards your name, your store uh, URL and the uh, email address? Right. Simple. Don't overcomplicate stuff. You send that most people is going to reply. Some people are going to say they don't want to do drop shipping. And you, when you're going to explain them, they're going to say, oh, but you want to buy, you know, do you want to buy them in advance? How do you, so people know already that you're dropping shit uh, website. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, different scenarios, but that's the supplier. That's the exact same template I use. Always, people are always asking me, you know, give me your template, give me your template. That's the template. There's nothing secret about it, nothing magic. It's just a bit of hustle. You, you need to work and, and send it to a lot of suppliers. When you, for them, this cat socks, uh, either maybe you can do it yourself and print and demand. So if you can find the same design and do it on print and demand, otherwise you can contact them. Uh, yeah, for like, you know, clothing products, it's good to do print and demand. You're going to have better, but yourself, you're going to have uh, better margins. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the template right here. So for, 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 Amazon. Yeah. So here it's the same, pretty much the same blueprint. Okay. So I'm going to quit this. So let's go on Amazon. All right. So this time we're going to do, let's say we're going to do dog. All right. We're going to do dog. 
we have a lot of dog products so see this this looks pretty interesting texas pet with a mud buster portable dog paw cleaner that's pretty cool so you can see you know, nine hundred seventy reviews and that's you know this they, that's they said best seller so that's that's you know that's that's a good sign so let's go let's see by dexas and 24 for 57 you can ask for a good price as well so small medium large all right great let's check right away the reviews all right so this this is top review so you know already that this is like a good supplier because they have great reviews so again you can use them right away you don't have to overthink it uh most recent so you should click on most recent look february 28th february 28th february 28th february 28th that's a freaking great quality all right <laughs> make me want to try it as well uh so yeah that's an exclusive for you guys because that might be a, a winner and it might work on facebook so what you're going to do now you're going to look for the store name all right of those people so I don't know if it's dexas or blah, blah, blah. yeah it's dexas so since it's a brand like you know they have like a label and everything uh it's not sure that they're gonna allow you to do it but anyway you're gonna have to ask permission you can't it's not like etsy uh etsy sorry it's not like uh, aliexpress etsy as well you have to ask permission so same thing you're gonna send a message to those people all right uh so you're gonna send a message to those people sometimes you can't like I like to send it to the email address. I don't like to directly message them on, on Amazon. Sometimes I do it, but what I will do is like, I go on Google, for example, we're gonna go on Google. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, not Google, shit. All right, Texas dog. You can see Pet Texas online store. Here we go. See, so that's, yeah, so that's the store. Uh, they're doing a lot of different stuff. That's the Mud Buster, as seen on TV, so it's pretty famous. Uh, so yeah, there is a, a chance that they won't allow you to sell it. Maybe they want to be the only to sell it on the market, but maybe they also do, uh, so you can see retail partners. So yeah, they actually sold, sell their products to other stores. So you have a chance, you might ask them, uh, and it's the same thing for every product on Amazon and Etsy. That's how you should do it. That's my pattern. That's my method. Um, simple. And then the better you get at it, the better you're gonna be able to see which, to know which products are gonna be working, how it's gonna work, and and then that's one. That's the first step. Even if you find an amazing product, if you don't know how to market it, it's, it's you know you're gonna fail. But that's the first step, and it's good to nail the first step. Really be really uh, be really good at it. And once you are, you can really like focus on something else. So then, okay, I'm great at product research. Let's be great at targeting. Let's do a great time. Let's, let's be great at Facebook ads. Okay, I'm great at Facebook ads. Uh, you know, my website should be great. That's what should be actually the first part. The website and the, the product research is the first part. You want to everything to be on point. And then after you can focus on, you know, product research and targeting and audience. But again, that's why if you know the niche, I already know the brands that I can target because I live in a niche. I have a dog. I love dogs. I've have a dog for what for you know years. So I know what uh, people uh, people interested in dogs uh, what they want to buy and everything because I would buy the same thing pretty much, right? So yeah, that's how you want to think about it. So that, that's it, guys. It's not really tricky, you know. Um, now, so okay, the supply email template is the same. So I didn't show it for this, but what you do is like you go on this on this website, you contact them or right, in the contact page. Simple. You just send them an email. Hey, uh, my uh, you know, I'm Mark. My store is this, and now we do this. We'd love to sell your products. Keep up the great work. Something simple. You don't. This is a template I use. It's, anything, it's not magical. You can actually you know tweak it to the way you want. It's just like keep it short, uh, and that's it. If you already have some experience, you can say that. Oh, we you know we've sold a lot of products from suppliers on Etsy as well. Uh, we, you know, like just to make them feel better and, and not scared about what you're doing, but that's that's you know all it takes guys so the method three so that's uh i'm not gonna be able to exactly show you on facebook because it's different for everybody but i'm gonna show you i'm gonna explain you the method and how it works so what i usually do is i try to find competitors on facebook and google so what's important is when you whatever is your stores your niche all right dogs whatever every time you're gonna see a dog ad 
just click on it. All right. That's why it's good to, to actually like some pay, you know, some dog pages, pay, like bag box, uh, pet co, like all those pages, all right. Facebook going to show you some ads and Facebook tells the audience, they're going to see if you actually like to click on the ad, if you like to go to add, you know, if you add it to cart, if you go to check out, that's how, you know, when, when you target, um, like when you do audiences and you target people on Facebook ads, that's how Facebook knows uh, how to you know to choose from those people, purchase at at to cart because of the data of people like you that just clicked on the ad, like they click, they view content, or they just left, or they added to cart but they didn't buy. That's why if you add Facebook, just give you add to cart, they're gonna give you a lot of add to cart, but not a lot of purchase. The same thing. So do this. Go like uh, go like those pages, back box, petco. Go to the checkout page. Uh, abandon the check, abandon checkout, right? That's it. Just move. You're gonna receive email about you know with the discount, with this kind of price and everything, like we all do. Um, and that's it. And now Facebook gonna show you more ads and more and more and more. At one point, trust me, you're gonna have so many ads on your Facebook, on your on your on your homepage. It's just gonna be get annoyed, but that's great because they do the job for you. Then you're gonna see because you're gonna receive a lot of ads. You're gonna receive like big famous website that do you know basic product but they just went known so they can sell it and you're going to also have people that actually small brands like you that sell like that drop their drop shippers or whatever and they sell like products that you can sell so they do the heavy work for you that's that's it's freaking it's really really easy so you just have to um yeah to just see what they're doing uh don't copy everything all right people say i'll oh, copy the copy no don't don't do that because you, facebook's gonna it's not gonna like you if you do this facebook's very smart if you copy everything they're gonna know then they're gonna you know like it's, it's gonna impact your um your uh, you're gonna have a, like a negative it's gonna have a negative impact on your on your ad account it, it's don't be petty all right be smart this is a business this is not a side hustle this is not a hobby if you want to make it be smart if you want to cut corners Please be my guess, but in one month you're going to do something else. It's, it's it's that's the way it is. So people say I don't like stealing videos. That's why I do mostly pictures ads. They work great. Okay, P videos is not the only thing, but if you want to steal a video, at least do it right. Okay, like steal the video, cut it a bit, do something different with it, uh, and add your logo at the end or watermark. Okay, but again, I don't recommend it. I don't steal videos. This is not ethical. I don't do it. All right, but if you want to do it, be my guest. I just don't understand why people, you know, tell you to do it because, yeah, it's not really anything. But anyway, um, if you can ask people to make a video for cheap, right? Like I had a client that made uh, a video, like he asked somebody to make a video for him it costed like, I don't know, 50 bucks or something. It's really cheap. If you find somebody good, it's going to make a video for you. It's pretty cheap. So you can buy the products, you can make the video by yourself. Uh, you can, if you know it's a winner, that's why it's good. You can actually start if you want to start with the, by stealing the video and then after you make your own. But if I were you, I would not use the video from somebody else. All right, like I said earlier. So then, yeah, Facebook will show you more ad related to your niche. So how do you know uh, which product can be a winner then? So looks for video ads or for pictures. So video ads for, from with the 50K views and 500K views or pictures 1k and 5k likes uh why because i don't i mean this is a rule that i have all right but if it's a bit above it it's fine i, I use my hunch and my and my um yeah more than anything else all right it's just my guts and i really try to because i've experienced now so i see those and i'm like okay this product i haven't seen it everywhere because I, I watch a lot of ads and i take a lot of screenshots do these guys and uh and then i know for a fact that a product might be you know might be a winner but that's the you know basic metrics that i would recommend you to 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 follow because at least you know that uh you know that it might be a winner and that's a good that's actually a good um, a good thing to do right so yeah the the the, the, the yeah so yeah to finish this just uh, a few more you know a few more insights on the on the video ads and pictures ads so yeah, when you see like you have 1k, 5k likes, you click on the on, click on the ad, go on the website, like I said, and check out, but check the product description, check everything, check the reviews. And that's where it starts. Then back to square one, you go on Etsy, try to find the same product. All right, go on Amazon, try to find the same product, read the reviews, do your work, see how you can improve the, the product description, see what people are saying, saying, oh, this product is amazing because, uh, you know, opposed to, uh, as opposed to other products, 
uh, it really like my dog loves it and it's not sick when he's using it and it's like it's very convenient easy to clean like you really should take um pay attention to this because this is very important like this is very important because that's what's that's how you're going to going to sell by solving problems and explaining how people are going to like it because you never know like that's the customer that are using it they know better than you so listen to them don't listen only to you to you know to what you think is going to work what you think is going to sell but that's that's not how it works all right so yeah well that's it for today uh thank you very much for uh, for watching and uh you can subscribe by hitting the the red button and yeah let's talk soon next video is going to be about next video is going to be about website opti optimization uh product uh sorry uh product descriptions again i made a post about it but the video is going to be more detailed and then after that we're going to go straight into facebook ads but again i'm going to try to make at least one two videos per week and uh yeah that's how we're going to start have a great day thank you for watching and uh bye bye